podcast. After only 17 hours and a bit of driving, this is 27, 28 kilometers, a long circuit, 500 minute fill, 40 seconds and a bit. Round 149, this is the 24 hours of Le Mans. The game is Contrismo 5, and I'll try to give you an additional round. For demonstration purposes, I'll try to beat again the record for Boogie Hart. But let's try this is the, at the end of the straight, so I have to break again and then the other new round will pop up. Enjoy. So this round I used to refill the gasoline tank. And now I can do a clean round I hope. So it's just started. already overtake, are overtaking the competition. Some great starts. Oh. The grass is not the best. Especially sand is something that you really want to avoid because it will take a lot of speed away. It also makes the car react completely different. With a higher chance of uh, Getting into a spin. So far, okay. So this is the GP uh, part of the track. And then you get the entire uh, north side uh, and also straight between bridge to gantry. So not only bridge to gantry, but also the straight part part of this track. And I beat it in 5 minutes 40 seconds. Just try to beat again, but ramming the walls will not help of course. I'm just demonstrating for you. It's not a good uh, strategy, long term especially. So also you need to note that this car is Pretty much uh, destroyed at this moment. Almost 150 rounds of uh, butchering it. So also the the oil, the engine is now completely uh, wasted, and that means that you will lose uh, multiple hundreds of horsepower after so many rounds. This is round 150. It's 27 kilometers. That it would imply per round. This is about 40,000 kilometers. Is that correct? 4,000 kilometers. No, it's 4,000 kilometers. Mm -hmm. Of course, uh, insane. For racing engines around. I was just flowing, I was not uh, looking at the map anymore, and even not thinking about how to drive. Sometimes you get in that mental state that you're not looking what you should do, but just feel it how it's flowing into, uh, from one corner to the other. That was a good state, I just popped out of it again. Too bad. But in the flow state you will feel how the car uh, wants to react exploded to the maximum instead of overthinking all those corners. Oh. 
not a good advice to use the walls to the shed up the extra speed. Better do it on the brakes and stay on track. Okay. Sometimes you slip off it. And then you just try to make it work. It's best to stay out of the sand. Sand is not your friend. The kids say you're a friend, not sand. But they say you're uh, sand, especially when they're very cool sand, but that's not with an uh, A, but with an E. Just to make it clear. The full scent is different than full scent. <laughs> okay, get, to, get to the program again. Just uh, try to work as a lawnmower. I think this will be a decent time. It will not be great, of course, because we made quite some uh, faults. But still, not completely terrible. So the time to beat was 5 minutes 40 seconds. We are not going to beat that, I guess. But it was been a little while between, but we already are over the 5 minutes 40 seconds. But we are able to beat 5 minutes 50 with 5 minutes 47 being noted. But we can always try the other round. We are not back with a vengeance. We already destroyed part of our tires, as you can see the pictures on the bottom left. But we are not going down like that. We try to deal with that with our vast experience on this, this lap to compensate for this wrecked tires. We just think of it in a flow state that they are just warmed up and go with that for a tiny bit. Again, you see to the left some locals, some slower parts that need to be overtaken. Oh, this was not so nice. You see that? Completely slammed into that ball. With one tire, so close of just passing it, but no, that one tire said, No, I want to stick it on this wall, please. Again, the other tie also said, if you can do it, I can do it as well. Hit this wall. In golf, they say, stay on the green, but in this uh, track, it's not uh, that much recommended. Asphalt is a far better environment for such a fast car. But it's also new to learn if you are switching from the grass to the asphalt again or the other way around, the grip levels will be completely different. So especially if you try to compensate that you direct it by putting the steering wheel to the left or the right, it is not going into a full slip because that's the worst thing that can happen because that makes you the car go the opposite direction that you want it to. Here can get some time sometimes. A little bit of grass and then again asphalt. But oftentimes it's not uh, something that you really want. It will slide from one side to the other. And oftentimes not as you want it. So it's not going to drift. So you need to be patient when you switch from one under uh, underground. From one surface to the other. Yes. Yeah. Only driving 17 hours and 23 minutes on this track already, so we are completely fresh at the game, as you can see. Just getting warmed up. Oh. can see how many uh, distance already covered with 3 minutes 20 seconds on the clock. Quite funny. 
if you try the same track with other cars, you will feel like you, uh, you will enjoy the track a lot more, more because this car is just too fast and too furious. So it's uh, a handful to control in this case. But uh, it will make the other cars feel slow. But if you are driven this for 17 hours straight and you try another car, then it feels uh, slower. The other way around is the same. Eh? If you get a normal, more normal car, car which you can enjoy, and then you get on in this car, you feel like a little bit of a nervous, uh, far too vigorous experience. But not so much to be enjoyed because you will be catapulted from one corner into the other again. So you don't have time to really enjoy the environment and to see the, bird, the birds and the bees. The nice trees. Or curves. Just get catapulted from one to the other and try to keep your car in a semi controlled drift instead of really yeah oh that was perfect just perfect completely slammed to the wall then they did a 360 and then ended up the complete opposite direction which you make uh, needs a u-turn and just before the straight also perfect timing excellent <laughs> So normally at the straight here you could uh, yeah. push it to the limit, as they say, yeah? push it to the limit. But uh, now it's only struggling to do to maintain 370 km an hour. As you can see, if it's a fresh engine, you might see 380 something like that. So we are already past or uh, best effort with five minutes. 51 it is, oh, such a bad, such a bad, uh, let's stop it there, no more suffering and pain, so you see what the sand is doing, huh? very very bad, but we still have this round which was a lot better, not perfect, but a lot better, this was oh, so bad.